Hello everyone, my name is Taha Apsu. I am a PhD student at School of Computing from NUS. Today I will be presenting our paper titled Velocidapter Task-Oriented Dialog Comprehension Modeling, Pairing Synthetic Text Generation with Domain Adaptation. This is a joint work between Wing Natural Language Processing Group and ASTAR Institute for Infocom Research. The first research question we ask in this study is, can current machine reading comprehension models comprehend task-oriented dialogues? The motivation behind this question is that people converse every day in order to collaborate on tasks. Through email threads in work, calls between nurses and patients, and chats for customer service. Thus, comprehending huge information that resides in these conversations is a crucial task. However, Current machine reading comprehension models only focus on written forms of text like news or Wikipedia articles, and these models do not perform as well on conversational data. So we actually need to find a way to train or adapt our models on this specific form of text. However, we don't have enough dialogue comprehension data. This is where the initial gist of our framework comes into stage. We use an existing dialogue state tracking dataset and annotate each slot with a few questions end up with a dialogue comprehension dataset. Let me show you an example. On the left, we have a customer service dialogue from restaurant booking domain, where each slot such as restaurant area and price range are colored. On the right, we have questions annotated for each slot and their respective slot values. Now, by matching these questions to every dialogue in such a dataset, we can come up with a large dialogue comprehension dataset. And even if we only come up with few questions for each slot, it is still challenging for existing machine reading comprehension systems due to the challenges that comes from conversational nature of the data. Let me now introduce a few of these challenges. Unlike written passages, dialogues are created on the go. So mind change can occur frequently for this type of data. Another such diffluence happens when the speakers change the topic abruptly, whereas for written passages, the flow is usually smoother. Also, zero anaphora is quite common. Because multiple people are conversing, they may refer to the same entity in several different ways. And lastly, users also tend to overexplain their preferences, complicating the utterances for machine understanding. The second research question we tackle is how to adapt into emerging domains with only few dialogues. In order to solve this issue, we introduce a new framework, Velocidapter, which, given a number of dialogue chunks, can simulate large dialogue comprehension datasets. Velocidapter is a data generation framework that takes as input a list of manually provided dialogue chunks and outputs instantiated dialogues. And there are three sequential steps for the generation process. The first one is corpus construction, where a human annotator divides a few development dialogues into chunks according to slots discussed in each. Then comes dialogue template generation, where our framework sticks these chunks together to create dialogue templates. And finally, dialogue corpus generation, where we fill each template using the external set of surface values. So now, let's delve deeper into the each step. A task-oriented dialogue is one where an agent needs to obtain slot information from the user, such as the ones colored in the sample dialogue. These slots are actually buried in certain chunks in the dialogue. And corpus construction step is where a human subject manually extracts these dialogue chunks. We name these atomic units that construct the dialogue as discourse templates. Each discourse template consists of one or more turns and involves a number of slots. Discourse templates come in two different forms. The first one is salutation or farewell, which, as the name suggests, forms the beginning or ending of a dialogue. And then comes request response. Request response templates are merely about information exchange through queries, either by the system or the user. The sample request response template here, for example, involves the information on number of people for the reservation and the reservation day. Defining these discourse templates as dialogue chunks composed of several turns lets us design complex templates that tackle dialogue-specific challenges. The first template, for instance, is designed for the mind chain scenario, 
where the user changed their previous preference for the cuisine type uh, to another thing in the incoming returns. Similarly, the second one is a template where our explanation scenario is tackled. The user in the second turn provides two potential answers for the same question, although the correct value is the latter one. Lastly, one can also design the cross utterance scenario using discourse templates, where the value of the slot label can only be found with the understanding of previous turns. Apart from these templates, Velos Adapter also expect, expects a list of values and questions for each slot label. And then it is ready to simulate a dialogue comprehension dataset. In order to create a dialogue template, our system first chooses a salutation discourse template, such as the one on the right, and inserts it into the dialogue template. Next, it chooses a request response template. If the chosen request response template has a slot label, that already, exists, that already exists in the dialogue template, then it chooses another one. When it finds a discourse template with unique slot labels, it adds that to the dialogue template and repeats the second step until a predetermined size is reached. So this is followed by a final step where each dialogue is filled with service values and matched to a set of questions. Eventually, we end up with a synthetic data set on which we can train dialogue comprehension models. In order to evaluate our framework, we create a new data set from an existing one, Multivos 2.1. Multivos is a dialogue state tracking data set which spans over seven domains, where each utterance pair in dialogues are annotated with slot labels, belief states, and systematics. From this data set, we choose restaurant, hotel, and taxi domains because our observations show that their pools of slot labels show very few overlaps, thus resulting in a diverse data set. Since Multivos does not come with dialogue comprehension questions natively, we supply our own hand annotated questions. Specifically, for each slot type in Multivos, we manually create a list of few questions. We then match each dialogue to a set of questions according to the slots present in the dialogue, create our multivos dialogue comprehension dataset, which we term as MRCVOS. Importantly, this creation has nothing to do with our framework, Velos Adapter, which is a totally different process for augmenting data. For creating MRCVOS, we first match each dialogue in train, development, and test splits of multivos with questions. We then extract 1% of training data for our low resource settings and split it into train and validation sets. We then use the separate splits to generate respective synthetic sets using our framework. MRCVOS has over 2,000 dialogues spanned over three domains, where each dialogue has about nine turns on average and 12 tokens per turn. We use two base models to experiment our framework with. First is BERT base which is a transformer-based language representation model, and it is used in the larger portion of our experiments. The second one is BIDAF, state-of-the-art previous to the transformer era. It is a hierarchical model that uses attention both ways, from query to passage and passage to query. Results with this model meant to show the model agnostic feature of our framework. We can also see the dialogue count and question splits for each domain, or train and test sets, in the table. We train six different models. The first one is was large, which uses the original data. This will act as an upper bound to our low resource settings. The next is was small. We train this model with the low resource development set that we created in the previous step. The third is Velas adapter, which is trained with our synthetically generated data. Note that this model is compar comparable to the previous one as we use the same development set for generating our synthetic data. We replicate these three settings with the addition of pre-training the baseline on squat data, followed by fine-tuning on respective sets. We add the SQ prefix to each model's name in this setting. Here are the results averaged over 10 runs. For each column, Underlined numbers indicate best results in the high resource setting. 
whereas bold numbers indicate best results in low resource setting. The asterisk shows the results are significant compared to the baseline trained under the same setting. The results from BERT experiments suggest that both with and without squad for training, our framework outperforms base models in all three domains in a low resource setting. We also note that the improvements show discrepancies over different domains, and we believe this is due to the out of vocabulary challenge being, more, being a more significant problem for some domains. Our framework, because it enriches dialogues with diverse slot values, is able to show stronger improvements on such domains. We repeat the restaurant domain experiments with BIDEF model. It, as expected, performs poorly compared to work-based, which is parallel to the results in the squad leaderboard. But our framework is still able to boost the performance by a significant margin, showing that it works in a model agnostic manner. To support the argument that our framework is easy to replicate, we also did a user study with two computer science graduate students who constructed a set of templates from few dialogues, given a set of written instructions. The template construction took between 10 to 14 minutes for each domain, and we then used these templates to create new synthetic data sets and replicated the results for each domain using the word-based model. Results of the user study shows that even an inexperienced user can improve base model results by significant values. Finally, we also do a fine-grained error analysis in taxi domain, comparing velocidaptor results with the base model. We characterize each error under nine different groups to get a better sense of the improvements made by our system. These errors are as follows. First one is partial value match, which occurs when the model predicts only a part of the slot value. Then comes value mismatch, which happens when the model predicts a reasonable value for a given question, but it is not the correct answer. Slot mismatch is an error where the model answers a question for one slot with another slot. Whereas former value match is when the model cannot follow the mind chain scenario and predicts the previous value. Order log match is when the model predicts a very long span uh, that is few utterances long. We call errors 6 through 8 as minor errors because the answers are actually correct but have small discrepancies from the ground truth such as missing the article the, capital letter mistakes or punctuation mistakes. Finally, we also have the unrelated answers by the system to the asked question. We see that Velocidaptor does significantly better in the combination of test-oriented dialogue-specific challenges, Jarrow's 1 through 5. We believe the improvement in value mismatch is due to diverse value enrichment of templates. To summarize this presentation, the first take-home message is that current machine reading comprehension models focus on written forms of text, thus they do not generalize well on conversational data, and there is not enough data to adapt current models to this task. To address this, we propose to capture dialogue state tracking tests as dialogue comprehension by annotating a few questions for each slot, and we create a new dataset with this strategy, which we like to call MRC balls. In the second part of our work, we focus on how to adapt to emerging domains in task-oriented dialogue which only have a few dialogues. For this, we introduce our framework, Velocidaptor, which brings humans in the loop to create data sets that are larger by magnitudes. In the future, we are keen to apply Velocidaptor to other task-oriented dialogue problems, and we also want to explore the automatic extraction of dialogue chunks. Thank you for your attention.